Hmm, what fabric to use for this project? Let me start pulling out some things. Um, maybe this will do. Um, I wear too much black as it is. Let me see what else do I have. Lace. Not sure about that. We're quarantined. Where am I going? Anyway, I'll check back in later. <laughs> Sashika again. So I am here today to challenge myself to get cracking and do something that is productive other than lazing about the house and um, doing nothing because we're, we're inside. We're, we're basically hamsters in a hamster cage and we're just going on the wheel every day just you know, so <laughs> today I was just on Instagram. I actually got outside for some fresh air, went to get some groceries. But I got on Instagram and I was just looking at a few fashion pages that I'm inspired by. And I was just like, I wonder if, if I could recreate a celebrity look. And I've never done anything like that before, really. So... I was like, this is a perfect, I was like, this is the first, I was like, this is the perfect time to try something new. So I've got, um, I've got even a magazine here. Eee. I've got a magazine here. I've got my laptop. I've got my tablet, um, tablet, my iPad. What did I just break? I'm moving on swiftly. I don't even care. Um. So I'm going to seek inspiration from these three things. We know there's ample amount of information on the internet. But I'm going to narrow it down and we're going to go to Pinterest. Not right now because I don't want you to see my password. But um, we're going to go to Pinterest and possibly summon Google. And we're going to have a little gander in here as well just to see what we can find. So hopefully by the end of this whole thing I can be able to show you the inspired piece and the ch extra challenge is not to just recreate the look but to add my stamp on it add my little signature um something that you know judges it up judges it up judge that whatever that makes it special to me i can't even say the word so um yeah i hope you're in for a treat i hope you sit back and enjoy the ride strap yourself in because i know you ain't going nowhere but in your living room or your kitchen or the bathroom so sit back and enjoy this video <laughs> chosen fabric okay everyone can see it it has slight stretch to it gorgeous 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 dark snake print white on black and the jacket i'm gonna make i'm gonna insert it in right now okay so have a look at that and what i'm gonna do is pull it up on my um tablet so that we can have a look at how it's constructed, how oversized it needs to be. And I'm also going to see if I have something in my stock that I can um, use. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to see if I've got something in my stock that I can use to um, almost copy the pattern and then do it however I want to do it. I don't normally work on this surface because my overlocker is right here. And because everyone's at home now, normally I'm home by myself, everyone is at home, so I can't use the kitchen as frequently, the table in the kitchen as frequently as I would like to. So I'm going to make do with what we have here. Okay, so where there's a will, what is the answer? There's a way. Let's go. Right, so I've got my iPad, guys. And what I'm going to try and do is find... What I saved just yes, my nail is actually gone. It's gone. So there were these options. I'm not even sure what what oh I can't 
can't really see them, can you? Oh, look at that. I tried to take my sister's. She has a stripy bed sheet in her bedroom and she won't let me use it. I said, let me just, let me just use it. Cut it apart, you know, and I'm going to give it back with one side used and the other side you can cover up your bed with. But she didn't want to listen to me. So, um, so did I even save it? Ah, there we go. This is the jacket. It's very simple, but it's cute. It's very, very cute. I'm going to put it properly in the picture so you can see it. And it's not like a snake print or anything like that. It's just a jacket. We're going to zoom in. We're going to draw the picture out. And we're going to um, see if we can break it down into pattern pieces. Okay? So, let's go. Okay. So, oh, baby pictures, you know. I need to find my lovely plus size senorita. Right, so this is one I downloaded from the internet simply because I was not in the mood to be drawing her. This is one I drew up, and that's the correlation, correlation, adaptation of it. Sorry, honestly, I'm senses here right so we are going to I oh, know that's for something else sorry 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 something else but we are gonna press on and we're gonna try and break it down into little pieces so we can see exactly what we are working with okay so I've got my girl here we're going to bring her to the center stage. It's time to take to the stage. They don't want me to be great today, so I'm just going to use a pen. And shame the devil! All right, okay. we'll begin by focusing in on the top half of the jacket. As the picture showed, the shoulder seam has been extended to enhance the boxy shape. So it sits just off the edge of your shoulders, more down to the top of your arm. Next, we will move on to the button stand. The button stand extend past the collar, um, just so you can have enough room to do up your buttons, and then the collars will meet where the button stands overlap. The button stand is extended because it is a long line jacket that sits just above your knee. So remember to bear in mind that this is not standard measurements. You use a standard shape and then we will increase it with seam allowance. All right, so I will go on to explain it further. So we have two patch pockets, but one has a two, both of them have a flap. We've got some sort of like um, that military thing going on at the top here. Two patch pockets down here, button stand, collar, and it's just generally oversized okay so this is actually quite fun because i mean who don't want to look cute who don't want to look cute and then in this jacket i tell you i'm ready when i come out of here when i come out if the lord permits you know i shall be ready for you lot i shall so on the back i think we're just going to keep it a standard um what they call it yoke on the back of the jacket with a top stitching and we're just gonna leave the back pretty plain or you never know we could add a fringe i've looked through i've looked through, i don't know what that noise was i looked through my stock and i've tried to find a jacket that is both has both a collar long sleeves and is long in length so i can kind of tuck it up and see where i'm gonna um cut it from or how long i want the jacket to be that still looks like you know because i'm quite tall and i don't want it to look like i just found it in a shop and i tried to you know make it work for me i want this jacket to look bang a lagging so i've found a jacket that i had in from asos right 
see i'm gonna add a little bit more even though that has stretch just a bit so actually no if i add a button stand yeah if i add on a button it's that that it's just a tricky thing now to get it to look like the jacket that i see without ruining it what you're, you're just ruining, ruining it you're look at my lips you're ruining I'm it use this one and let's get cutting let's get tracing let's get motivated let's go thanks for watching if you're interested in seeing part two please subscribe below and also hit that notification bell for more updates also follow me on my social handles in the comments below let me know what you have been getting up to i am genuinely interested are you resting are you improving your skills what are you doing anyway thank you for watching this video have a blessed day stay safe guys stay indoors god bless you love you all bye